I just presented the result of the randomized phase 2 trial MAPS2 in patients with malignant pleural mesothelioma treat as second or third line treatment, so people escaping to the standard first line of treatment by chemotherapy, pemetrexate based chemotherapy. These patients are really a bad pro uh, big problem because we don't have any treatment to propose, propose so far to this patient and they have really a poor outcome, usually with a median of our survival close to six months and a disease control rate uh, about 30% uh, or less with usual treatment. So we were able to show that giving nivolumab or nivolumab plus cipilumab, we increase the first endpoint of the trial, so the disease control rate at 12 weeks of treatment, up to 44% with nivolumab and 50% with uh, uh, um, nivol plus EP, as well as the response rate increase up to 80% with nivo and 26% with nivol plus EP. But more importantly, this was translated in our plenary result in a, in a benefit of survival because the median overall survival with nivolumab was 10.4 months and with nivo plus CP we still have more than half of the patients still alive so the median overall survival was not reached so far with the nivo plus CP. On the safety issue, uh, the treatment was well tolerated with only, mostly only non-severe uh, uh, adverse event. Even if we had, as expected, slightly more uh, severe adverse event in the combo arm, and we had three potential related uh, drug related uh, uh, adverse event in the Nivo plus EP arm. Can I just ask how large the populations you're working with again? So we were able to recruit 125 patients, so half with Nivo, half with uh, Nivo plus EP. Okay, because three deaths out of 65 is still a significant number of deaths. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, but you have to remember that uh, these patients are old patients, they are in the 70s with comorbidity. The second thing is that there was no treatment so far for this patient, so any treatment would be uh, very important and uh, we are very happy to have such a result with checkpoint inhibitors because mesothelioma could be considered not like lung cancer or melanoma, like a cold tumor, because you have a low expression of PDL1, low infiltration of T cells in the tumor. So it was really not expected to have such a nice result with a checkpoint inhibitor in mesothelioma. And in routine, as a clinician for my patients, it's a real new hope uh, of treatment for them. And you mentioned that this was NEVO or NEVO and EPI. Were there any trials of just using anti-CTLA4 for this? Well, we know that from a previous trial that anti-CTL4 does not work by itself alone. So the question is now, should we use NIVO alone or NIVO plus EMI, EPIDUMAB? We don't have the answer yet because we need more data, for example, quality of life and survival with a longer uh, follow-up. And we will do, we, we do now as well as the biomarkers studies. So perhaps it may help to select better the candidates for NIVO alone or NIVO plus EPI.